Welcome back to channel everyone. This is part 3 of Power App Tutorials. In our previous video, we have talked about how you can load a user profile and can send an email through Power Apps. Then we have created a flow by which we can copy a list data from one list to another list. So basically we are copying data from that list to this particular approval data list. So now the third step is what we want to do. Uh, whenever we have new item here in this particular list, I want to create a flow, basically a approval workflow, which will go to this uh, person field email ID. And once this particular uh, user approve or reject that particular flow, we'll have a status column, which will be updated here. Let's talk about how we can do that. In flow, we can uh, create approval workflow two way. So let's talk about the first way go in your flow section click on create flow when a new item is added i have a template already set up here when a new item is added i have to create a approval workflow here connection is ready click on continue now we have our pool so when there is new item created in this particular approval data list approval will start and with the title release review with the title field which we have and uh, then the assigned to will be our person email id it will be assigned to this particular person and the detail will be already provided you can customize if you need to customize so once the response is equal to approve i'm gonna send an email to creator who has created this particular field that your request has been approved and if it is rejected then also it will be informed to that particular person who have created this so this is pretty much cool and predefined template of approval workflow which we have once i save this one we'll test it out how it's work on our list i have my user profile list here if I click on this meeting request, a duplicate entry will be created in this particular list, which have been created here. And now our flow will launch. We'll see that if the flow is successful or not. There is nothing in flow history right now. So that means the flow has not started yet. Once the flow is started, we'll see that how it goes on. Now the flow has been started. So you can see in the running status of your flow if you click on this uh, it is an the start and approval mode that means an email should be sent to my email id and if i go here here i have an email of approval and you can see this uh, the you know, predefined template of your flow there is a approve and reject button here sometime we require not to have these approve or reject option here would like to have like accept or reject button right now let me just click on approve and if you want to provide some additional comment here you can do and then can submit once it is done your response has been submitted to your flow and you can see your response in your flow so because my name was included in this uh, <coughs> person field and i was the creator of this particular uh, request your request for show window developer has been approved by this 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 and comment has approved i got an acknowledgement email also all right and now i can go in my uh, flow and you can check the send and receive in the history of my which i received and i just approved the status i got in my history column here also the number of requests i receive and the number of requests i approve i'll get it here all right you can change it from the received and send option so in the sent we have one and in the receive we have one let's talk about the second type of workflow uh, i'm gonna go in my flow see your workflow i can create a workflow from here create a workflow from blank and when there is a new item created select your list name site name 
and select the list which is our approval data and then add a step here send email with option search for this we have send email with option either o365 outlook or outlook select o365 outlook and in the two section i'm going to send email to person email id subject is your input required which i'll keep as it is and in the user option in the previous uh, flow we have the default choice is approve or reject here you can put your custom value so i will put accepted and okay accept and reject right once that is done header text will be something you have new request selection text something like in the in the body email i'll just put hey person display name you have new request kindly up to or reject it. that's right and we are done importance is normal you can add any attachment if you want use only html i'll say yes and after comma i will put a pr tag here so that html will work fine so what this workflow is doing when an item is created it's sending an email to a person email id with the option accept and reject and with the body text this and we'll have these to accept and reject button here next i will set up a condition here mm, the condition will be choose value and if the selected option value that means whatever the option going in email if a person select selected or rejected whatever the value is there if the selected value is equal to accept then what i'm going to do is i'm going to send an email to the person who created the field and the body will be accepted cool once that is done an, an acknowledgement email is sent to the created web person and then what i'm going to do is here i'm going to update a list item when i say update a list item i'll just tell you what i'm doing here sharepoint update item in test site approval data list and first map this to list item id and then i'm gonna update my status value accept and save this i hope it will be accept all right cool so that means if my request is accepted an email will be sent to me and the list my list item status will be updated here that uh, that this your request has been updated and the status is accepted and in the case of no i'm going to perform the same action you can just uh, follow these option here and can perform these kind of things so this is my user profile if i click on a meeting request a new item will be created here and that is created and my flow should run once my flow will run i will get an email notification here i'll have to wait for that once that is there i'll show you 
now we have a uh, email to us that is saying you have a new request hey this this you have new request kindly approve or reject it and uh, if you can see in our previous uh, workflow that we created we are having the option of approve or reject but in this one we can customize our email once that is we click on this accept you know our response is <coughs> saying that thank you response has been successfully registered and now we'll see in our test list whether you can see that that now that, that is already you know the updated the status is accept here so that's the way you can create the approval workflow i have uh, so let's just talk about what we did uh, we have uh, created a workflow when a new item is added to this particular list an email will be sent to this particular person email once that person approve or reject <coughs> the status will be updated here so you can uh, you know kind of add a lot of functionalities over and above this particular thing over the whatever the way you want it and you can create you know multi-level parallel workflow in a flow so for this session um, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching Learn Tech.